I had the chance recently to go out with my friend in his Aeroprac 22LS aircraft. This aircraft made in Kiev, Ukraine, known as the Fox Bat, is a two-seat, high-wing, light sport aircraft with tricycle landing gear. It is designed for safe and easy handling and for short takeoff and landing operations or stall operations, and it is powered by a Rotex 912 ultralight sports 100 horsepower engine and has a max gross weight of 1,320 pounds. I went out with him to do some air work in it, including some slow flight, power off stalls and power on stalls and recoveries, as well as some steep turns. In particular, he wanted to see how it stalled and at what speeds. The pilot operating handbook states that in a clean configuration, it will stall at an indicated airspeed of 48 miles per hour, and in a dirty configuration with full flaps at only 37 miles an hour at max gross weight. Our takeoff weight was only 1,205 pounds, and as a result, we saw significantly lower stall speeds. With 10 degrees of flaps, the aircraft rocketed off the runway in just a couple of hundred feet, and we climbed around 800 feet per minute. After doing some pre-maneuvering checks and clearing the area, we started to do some slow flight. For slow flight, we reduced power to a safe airspeed of 92 miles per hour, incrementally added full flaps, and then increased power to maintain altitude and an airspeed around 50 miles an hour. We then did some shallow turns to see how mushy the controls were. We then proceeded to initiate a power off stall by reducing power to a landing RPM setting and a descending at an approach speed of about 60 miles per hour. Once we had established the descent, we smoothly pulled power to idle and gently raised the nose of the aircraft to just above the horizon, while at the same time maintaining wings level and keeping the ball centered. At around 40 miles per hour, the angle of attack's oral sound started beeping and increased in frequency as we continued to see the airspeed further bleed off. Around 35 miles per hour with the angle of attack or a sound beeping fiercely and the controls becoming very mushy, we recovered from the power off stall by lowering the nose of the aircraft to reduce the angle of attack and added full power. Once at a safe climb speed, we pitched the nose up and incrementally took out the flaps to completely recover from the power off stall. For the power on stall, we simulated a takeoff configuration with 10 degrees of flaps and a reduced power setting. While maintaining a nearly constant altitude, we allowed the airspeed to bleed off. At around 40 miles per hour, we added 75% power and pitched up to about 15 degrees and observed the airspeed decay further. As the airspeed bled off, the angle of attack oral sound started beeping increasingly faster. And right around 29 miles per hour with the angle of attack oral sound beeping fiercely, the wing stalled. After bringing the nose down to the rise and reducing the angle of attack and simultaneously adding in the remaining power, we regained a safe airspeed and then began a gentle climb. After the stalls, we proceeded to do some steep turns before heading back to the airport. I was completely impressed with the Fox Bat's performance as well as its onboard avionics with a fully glass cockpit and integrated autopilot. The aircraft handled well and was comfortably responsive, and its landing performance was as impressive as its takeoff. So for anyone interested in a light sport experimental aircraft, the Fox Bat is certainly worth taking a look at. <laughs>